Welcome back. Look, we have a visitor today. Look at this guy. He says, what's up, and subscribe. Into the video. So these are the door panels right here. And I'm going to bring them up to the front because we are going to be grinding these guys down. And first thing in the morning, we're going to wrap these door panels. And we are going to wrap the console. You know, I didn't get a chance to wrap the console yesterday because, man, I still got some stuff I have to do throughout the time. So... We'll get that done. When you do carpet door panels, like this is just what exactly what you're trying to look for. You see like these edges, those make them nice and flat. And just like grind stuff up, like right here, I probably gotta grind a little bit. Like, you probably won't even notice it with the carpet. Um, but you gotta try to get everything as flat as possible. You see how you can still see your borderline? That's what the, the main goal is. So it sits flat on your plant, uh, panel. And remember we fiberglass these screwed down. So um, these things are just like as flat as they can be. They really good. You see like they don't even talk on. And we don't uh, cut corners on here. We got the good glue, so this carpet was never going to peel up none of that. One more shake the can glue. So I'm going to actually get that ready for gluing and the uh, Amprec. And then after that, it's just a matter of just installing the product, man. So we're doing good on time. It's real early still. And man, let me jump, jump on it. All right, so the door panels are wrapped. They're ready to rock and roll. The Amprec is ready. And now I'm getting product out. So we're doing the PRV8s, player on EQ, the bullet style PRV tweeters. We have Ot Cage right there. We have brand new RCAs, um, front and back, and one from the radio to the EQ. Uh, distribution block that's fused for the amps. And then we got the four Sundown E12 V4 subs that we're gonna be putting into the OBS extended cab truck with the fourth order bad pass. So right now this part of the uh, installation which is wiring um, to me is like a lot more easier than actually building and wrapping and stuff up so um, it is like 11 o'clock so we still got a good amount of time so I'm just gonna like work 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 and then as I go I'll pick up the camera and show you guys what we got going on and how stuff looks along the way because I'm on a time crunch today so I'm gonna try to get as much as going on and get this thing all installed and throughout you know I'll take little breaks and I'll show you what I got going on but I'm gonna go ahead and put the subs in right now because the subs need to go in first because then we can put the, the lid on it and then after that we can start putting the amps in it and then the door panels can actually go in last with the console and then we can run uh, uh, all that stuff and I need to run the power wire and everything so but the best thing about of all this you know he actually took apart the panels and took the seats out of it so I really don't have to put the truck back together I just got to make sure everything's plain and my part is done a hundred percent so he just has to put his seats console and everything in and his truck is ready to rock and roll so let's get it it's the last day of this build hope you guys liked all the series of these videos man like watch them rewatch them you know and and one day maybe you guys can try to build some stuff like this on your own and let me know send them them pictures or clips or tag me in an instagram mouse x trap and man we, we going up man so i i appreciate everybody I'm coming on the videos, watching them and everything and all the new subscribers and then we need all the OG subscribers to hold it down, man. So let me get on it, man. I'm, I do this for y'all. It's been working, man. Look, so we, I had to drill out the hole a little bit bigger because he already had a hole because he had a uh, four gauge ran. So I actually had to bust out my unibit. Look, this is a big boy right here. This unibit right here was like 120 when I got it from Sears back in the day. So we went ahead and um, did the opening a little bit bigger and so what I'm actually gonna do right now is I am gonna silicone it up to weatherproof it so uh, water don't get inside there for any reason so it doesn't channel in there and your boy let's see if we can focus in there man this thing you see those wires listen Dealing with odd gauge is not fun. Like it just carries so much tension, and trying to um, get it to line up, man, that is a pain. But your boy got it. You know, there, there's nothing that can't be done. You feel me? So we got that going on. So now what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna drill a hole 
along the bottom. For the speaker wire, feed the wire in there. And then I am gonna go ahead and um, silicone that up because we need as much as sealed as possible. Even though it's on the ported side, sealing it up is always the best way to go because we only want air to come out through the port, not through anywhere else. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, s uh, drill the hole, seal it up, and then we're gonna start wiring these subs because the subs need to go in there so we can put the lid on there. And then after that, um, the amp rack can go in there. Then I can start wiring the amps and then run RCAs to the EQ, then take the radio out and run the EQ, the RCA from the radio to the EQ along with its power and everything. And I am gonna put a voltmeter in here too, so we gotta do that as well too. And then the door panels are almost gonna be for like the last thing. And then the very last thing, very, very last thing is connect the fuse holder. I always do the fuse holder at the end. And then, um, now we're gonna get it. I may actually just do the, um, wire everything up. But now nah, because I feel like that'll just slow me down. I'd rather just go ahead and um, wire everything up and not slow me down and like take any breaks and trying to do anything else because I could tone generate it to see how loud the bass is. But I'm just going to go ahead and wait till it's all done and everything planned so we can hear it. Um, why waste any time when we're still on a time crunch? So I'm going to get back on, uh, on this real quick. I'm going to actually go look for the voltmeter real quick just so I have it in hand. I'm actually in the wiring process. And man, we're about to wire these bad boys up. So basically what I'm doing is we got dual voice coil subs to dual twos so i basically got to bridge them up four ohm each sub and then i do a, a parallel all of them uh, to the very last sub where i drilled the hole out where the wire goes to the amp so everything gets jumped from there parallel um positive to negative so it can equal up one ohm load because that's what the amp um, requires to get the maximum output out of it and so we got to wire up all the subs one ohm to make sure that they all are um, in phase and all at the right ohm load so we get the full power out that amp so we don't have no excuses for nothing if your box is good good braced up good subs and good ohm load good amp man there should be no excuses for why the box sounds like this or, or this and that we got a battery for it the box is pretty good the, the port is tuned you know really good and the subs are going to be really good and the amp is like phenomenal so there should be no excuses so i am just creating jumpers um like the kickers you have to wire them up a, a specific way because of the dots i don't know if you guys ever wired up any kicker subs um they have dots dots that you have to jump into them but basically i looked up online because these things didn't come with a manual but i just double checked online and i just did the outside uh uh inputs which one was positive and which was negative, so I just jumped it. And so with it being a dual sub, dual two, I jumped it up to four ohm. So once I uh, um, bridge them, each one, um, my last sub, it should get me up to um, one ohm. So we're, we're deadly into the wiring it, so. Let me go ahead and get everything uh, wired, pre-wired up, and then I'm gonna load the subs, and then I'll show you with the, the box, uh, it loaded up and everything. So this thing is gonna be a boomer. All right, so the subs are in, all of them. They're all screwed in there, and there's screws along the top and the bottom since the subs are a little bit more down the bottoms like sandwich the box in and man they're in there that took a lot out of me you know look at that shit i had to improvise right here and, and notch it a little bit to get that extra sub in there but that just comes along with the the game you know what I'm saying when it's the custom world sometimes when it's time to do it um you have to modificate some stuff here and there but man it is ready guys so the lid can go on there and then we can start tracking all the wires for all the um the the mids and highs and everything which i think what i'm actually going to do right now is actually run all the rcas and everything so once all the rcas and all the wires are ran over here then that lid can go on 100 percent because i don't want to have to you know work extra hard to track wires when everything's all open right now so i'm going to get all the rcas and prep everything up i'm going to clean up and just get everything that i that i don't need out the truck and then I'm gonna run all these wires to you know get all the wires just to end up right here so then the, the front lid can go on and that's it so then the amp rack can go in and then wire the amps up and I mean we, we go like like the um, this is right here but it's actually gonna get mounted somewhere right here so it is out the way and it is easy to access in case we ever need to get to that guy we'll just probably leave it right there um, but yeah coming along good guys so let me uh, get back on the grind all right guys so we still got to do the power wire and i'm actually wiring up amps right now as we speak all the wires came out through there 
the box is in, mounted, everything, the subs are in it. That thing's gonna boom. And we actually need to connect the radio and EQ, but that's you know pretty simple. Pretty much the more time consuming thing now is the amps and then mounting the um, the doors and then putting the doors on. Um, I got to look through my stuff and I actually got to see if I have a fuse holder. If not, I'm going to have to go buy a fuse holder from the uh, local car audio place right now. And then so I can just keep going forward with the build and get her done at least today by like 5. And my boy, he actually... Um, drives by my house on the way to work so he can actually stop by and pick up the truck tomorrow morning at like 6 30 in the morning so i mean i'm gonna try my best to get it done tonight or he can even come pick it up tonight at six um but i'm gonna get it done tonight for sure because i do not want to do anything tomorrow so let me get back on the grind and i'll show you how i look here in a little bit guys all right guys so man this thing so i went ahead and actually i don't know if i already made a clip of it but i actually like burped it but man that thing is nasty and we still got to do uh, two major things and I think we should be good. So I already started like pre-tracking the, the power wire and I already got it zip, zip tied down and I actually use like real deal like heavy duty ones on that side because those harnesses are bigger and just for like the regular little cables, um, regular ones. I tried to get some loom today and that was impossible. So I'm gonna just tell my boy to give me like a week and I'll order some loom and then we, I can uh, go ahead and loom it up so it looks like the wire was never even there. But I siliconed the hole that he already had going on just to make sure that no rain gets in it. And so I'm pretty much going to put the, uh, the fuse holder like right here somewhere and then attach it to right there. Um, like, that's like bare wire so we actually need to fix that for my boy. That's crazy. So. I can even do like so many things, like I can just bring it down here and just have it connected to right there. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, fuse holder and then let me show you, I don't think I've showed you guys. So the sun here is like really bad. So the amps are right there in place and the back's pretty much done. So all I gotta do is pick up, clean up all that stuff, uh, put it all in there and I think that's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good and then put the doors on and I think we should be good. All right, so we actually started wiring inside here, but I already advanced a little bit and I wired up the uh, radio how I had to. I need to get power um, ground and remote from the back of the aftermarket radio that he already had because I need to feed it into the EQ. And then we need a single RCA that comes from the radio to have sound inside the uh, um, EQ so the EQ then can play um, the front the rear and the subwoofer but it just needs a uh, single in um, so it'll play music through it so we're actually wiring that up right now as we speak and then once the EQ is done um, we can put the speakers that go in for the EQ and um, what you would call it and mount the EQ and I actually went ahead and I put a voltmeter on it just so it can light up red and um, just so he can keep a look at his voltage every time he's jamming um, it probably won't make a difference but it's always nice to have one see what I'm saying so um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish connecting the radio and then um, put the EQ in here along with the speakers so all that's really is left is um put the doors on and that we ready to rock and roll it's been a long day we got a lot of stuff done and um still quite got a got quite a bit not a lot i already did underneath the hood so a lot of this stuff's done and i've been cleaning up along the way just so um it's a lot easier for us to get stuff done so um let me finish this real quick and I'll get back with you guys right now. All right, guys, it's been such a busy day, such a busy day. And I haven't been able to pick up the camera in a little bit. But so these are the uh, door panels with the mids and highs in it. Very nice. I haven't even fired it up yet. And there's the amp rack with um, amps in it. I still got to uh, screw the lid down because I think this box is very, very, very aggressive, guys. Like, 
I didn't think it was going to be that aggressive, but it's very aggressive. And I ended up connecting his um, his tweeters and stuff like that that he had there. So I'm going to go ahead and give a quick demo, but with some copyright free music. And let me know what you guys think. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, screw that down real quick and then clean everything out and vacuum it because he should be here any minute now to pick her up. But there you guys have it, man. Let me know in the comments, let me know what you guys think. Let's speak of the dude he's calling. So let me know what you guys think, man. Uh, I'm glad this truck's over with, man. Um, it's loud, but that back window is taking a real beating. It's very aggressive. So let me answer the phone real quick and I'll close out the video after I get done cleaning. All right, YouTube, your boy is really tired. But man, look at this truck. This was sitting there looking real nice. And now with the, the, the cram in it, man, that thing ain't no joke. Definitely ain't no joke. So there's one seat in there and it's missing a kick panel, but he has it. And we're actually gonna swap out these DS18 speakers for uh, some PRVs. So the two PRV8s, uh, the PRV bullet tweeter, which is really loud. So we have uh, the Clarion EQ, and then we have a voltmeter. Um, Alpine deck, PRV speakers, and the amp rack that just fell off, I need to screw it in there. But man, this thing is very aggressive guys, very aggressive, like, very aggressive. Um, man, those subs, those are giveaway subs, man, and those things do not play. So he is actually on his way, he lives like 30 minutes away. So I am going to actually go ahead and just finish the whole install and just put the uh, amp rack in there and screw it in play in place because um, he's going to want to pick it up right now and take off jamming with it. I think he's bringing the window switches as well. Very aggressive system guys. Very, very aggressive. If you guys do uh, something like this, be very careful with that back window because it will bust. I give it like two months and if he really beats on it, which I probably don't think he is, that window would bust. You see what I'm saying? But other than that, very nice system. They brought the EQ to life. Um, looks good in the back once he puts that seat in there it's gonna be in there pretty good and yeah guys subscribe to the channel let me know what you guys think of the build man this thing is really awesome and it's really loud so um man we're glad this was over well, on to the next project i think we got two more projects and then we take a little break man um and get organized but man shout out to the mousetrap gang thank you guys for watching these series of videos and i'll catch you guys on the flip side peace